はいわり、ディスイザイナー。いいですよ。アイシアスタンディングスシドさん、ひなとまる。レッツゴー。トゥデイ、アイケムとひなとまる。This sushi restaurant is very interesting. We can have sushi by standing. Sushi chefs make sushi just in front of us and directly serve us. Sushi is really gorgeous. It's very traditional taste of sushi called Edomai sushi. You'll be surprised its taste. Inside of the restaurant, it's like this. There are some counter seats for standing and having sushi. There are some tables for groups, so we can also sit and have sushi. This is the menu. It's great. English menu with images is ready. You can order combo or eat sushi that you want. Today, I'm going to have yaisu, which is special mix sushi platter. This is only for Tokyo Station. And I also have ippon anago, which is big cooked conger. I found a special menu, which is tuna head meat. This is temporary menu. Sushi ingredients are on the counter. We can see what kinds of ingredients are ready. This is classical and traditional sushi counter. Have you ever seen it like this? This is very interesting. Which sushi ingredients do you like the most? Let's see behind the counter. Sushi chef makes sushi like this. Then soon sushi chef serves very fresh sushi. My sushi plate has arrived. These are my dishes for today. I'll share from sushi platter first. This is sushi platter called Yaisu. It's only served in Tokyo Station branch. It costs 2500 yen, it's about 18.90 US dollars. This is list of sushi ingredients for Yaisu. Let's have sushi. Please subscribe my channel. Itadakimasu. I'm going to have sushi, but first thing that I need to do is getting soy sauce ready. We usually have sushi with soy sauce. We don't need it too much. I think this much is enough. I'll have flounder first. It's beautiful white fish meat. Wasabi is already in sushi. It's put between fish and rice. If you don't prefer it, you can order sushi without wasabi. And then putting some soy sauce to eat sushi. This is really fresh flounder. It's chewy and it tastes so good. Flounder is called hirame in Japanese. It's not f a t t y fish, but flounder tastes so rich of fish meat. This is very tasty. Texture is wonderful. I'll have slight pickle ginger. Mmm, it tastes fresh. It's called gari. We usually have it when we want to refresh our mouth. It's seasoned and marinated by vinegar, so it tastes slightly sour. It's slightly soft, but it's crunchy. Next, I'll have scallop. Its meat is simmering. It looks good. Wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. It's really soft. It's good. Scallop is called hotate in Japanese. This is very common sushi ingredient. It's very soft and milky. This is one of my favorite sushi. I want to change the taste in my mouth, so I'll have green tea. It's great! Sushi is normally having with green tea. Its taste is very much too sushi so much. And we love green tea. How about you? Do you like green tea? This teacup is very interesting. English and Japanese name sushi is plenty to buy sushi ingredients with images. We can learn how to say in Japanese and English. I'll have sea blame next. Oh. It's so chewy and tasty. Sea blim is called Thai in Japanese. This is also very common sushi ingredient. It's not fatty fish, so it tastes light. I guess this is the simplest taste fish on this platter. I'll have gui duck. This is quite rare to see this in these days. Wow! Wasabi again. 
This is very good. Guido tastes slightly milky. It's pretty soft, yet crunchy. If you find this in sushi restaurant, that's great restaurant. Miso soup comes with sushi platter. Japanese dish tends to come with miso soup. Let me have it. What a gentle taste. This is nice. Japanese loves miso soup so much. We have miso soup with any Japanese dishes. Ingredients for miso soup are anything. In this case, seaweed and green onion. It's very simple but very tasty miso soup. Let's try Akshay. I don't see it very often these days. Wow, it's crunchy. Same as Guidok, Akshay is only served at high class sushi restaurant. Its texture is very crunchy. It's the chewiest on this sushi platter. It tastes full flavor of shell. I'll have lean tuna. There are three different parts of tuna on this platter. Wow, it's really moist. This is very fresh lean tuna. Tuna is the most popular sushi ingredient in Japan. Many Japanese people love tuna. It's red fleshed fish, so it has richer taste than white fleshed fish such as sea blame. Do you remember that I ordered extra sushi? This is one of my favorite sushi day. Let me show you. This is big cooked conger. Conger eel is called anago in Japanese. It costs 650 yen. It's about 4.91 US dollars. It looks great. Itadakimasu. Wow, it's really soft and tasty. It's steam, so it's really soft. We can cut it by chopsticks really easy. It's also roasted on surface, so it nicely smells burn. Anago tastes rich, but it's not seasoned, so we usually have it with soy sauce based sweet sauce. This sauce is very gooey and delicious. Let's have yellow tail next. Wow, it's so thick and so chewy. Yellow tail is also famous sushi fish. It's white fleshed fish, but it's pretty fatty. Its texture is close to flounder and it tastes richer than flounder. I personally love this fish so much. I'll have fatty tuna next. Oh, it's so tasty. Tuna fat is so good. Fatty tuna is of course fattier and tastes richer than lean tuna as name shows. I think this is the best balanced tuna part for me. It's not too fatty, but its fat makes excellent taste. This is the last sushi for the platter. This is extra fatty tuna. It looks great. Wow. It's simply amazing. Woo! Extra fatty tuna is very, very, very tasty because it has so much fat. Its meat is very tender. Once we have it, brilliant taste spreads all over the mouth. I have great sushi so far. Let me share last sushi for today. This is tuna head meat. It's called Zuniku in Japanese. It costs 300 yen. It's about 2.27 US dollars. We can take this meat only a little from each tuna. Look at this ground meat. This is marvelous. Let me have it with wasabi. Itadakimasu. Oh god. Wow, it's surprising. It's awesome. It tastes close to fatty tuna, but it's much softer. It contains great balance of fat and limit. This is amazing. It's loosening and melting in the mouth. So this is all about Hinatomaru and sushi. Hinatomaru is located in Tokyo Station, so it's very easy to visit. Its business hour is quite long, so you can visit anytime. It serves very tasty and variety sushi. Hinatomaru is high grade sushi restaurant, but price is reasonable. We can have sushi from 70 yen, it's even cheaper than a dollar. It's a stunning sushi restaurant and easy to stop and go. Everyone can feel free to enjoy sushi a lot. Sushi is very tasty. Every single sushi is well done. We can have traditional sushi fish that we cannot have at one dollar conveyor sushi restaurant. If you like authentic and high quality sushi, it's great place to visit. Even a piece of sushi, come and try its great sushi. Gochisou sama de shita. Sushi was awesome! I hope you enjoyed my videos. These are my recommendation videos that you may like. 
please click like button and subscribe my YouTube channel and follow my social medias. This is all of today. Have a good day and good night. Bye!